Hello lovelies and welcome to today's video. So this is a video that I did using my May, yep, my May Kitaholic kits. So this kit is actually the one we're using over on the Kitaholics Facebook page and YouTube, but I had an extra layout so I thought I would share it with you. This layout was actually really, really fast. I put this together very quickly. Um, so I did another page and I had uh, a little bit left of this pattern paper that I absolutely loved and it was just enough to do an eight and a half by 11 page layout. And if you've been following my um, uh, scrapbook videos for a while now, you'll know that I've been working on my niece's first album for about two years. She turned two in January and I'm still going on that first year album. Although in saying that, it's definitely better than my kids. My kids albums, I think my youngest who is eight is only up to about his six month album so anyway my nephew turned one on Sunday and I haven't even started his so we're scrapbookers we're never up to date are we anyway um I've been working on her album and her album is an eight and a half by eleven and I've said it before I'm not a big fan I like my 12 by 12 I like the real estate I like having the space but in saying that doing her um layouts in an eight and a half by eleven album has been a challenge but also in a good way type thing it's you know challenging me to use um, different configurations different size photos things like that on a related note if you know where I can get my hands on some kind of pocket page that'll fit a we are memory keepers eight and a half by eleven please let me know anyway so I tend to by default do a lot of her pages in 12 by 12 so therefore they're too big for her album and they end up in mine which is why I think I'm so far behind in her album but because I had the perfect paper I thought oh I'll make it a picture in her layer in her album so that's what I did um, I had recently printed off a bunch of photos for my sister of my of her kids and her husband because it was his birthday and she wanted to do some photos I was having issues with my picture mate so I ended up with a few prints that um, either the bottom had cut off or something had happened so I decided to keep them and um, when I was thinking about doing this layout I saw this picture and yeah it had cut the bottom had sort of printed wonky I don't know my printer got jammed or something so all I did was trim that part off and I had the perfect size photo for this layout so I went to town using my Kaiser Mist in the gold. Uh, this is, it's a shimmer spray and it is the one I tend to use the most. Well, it's probably the only one I use. Um, yeah, it sits on my desk. So if I want a bit of gold shimmer, I just use that one. Um, I use the packaging technique. So I spritzed it onto some packaging and then went to town just plopping it in the background. I did dry it before reapplying. And then I did some splatters, dried all that off. And then I matted that on some white cardstock and... I ended up with a really, really pretty background. Now, like I was saying, this came together really quickly and everything I've used is from the May Kitaholic kit. I will link in the description below to um, the website and the Facebook page so you can have a look. But yeah, so I had all these flowers. Now, if you've watched my channel again, you know I tend to do a lot of boy layouts. Pretty girly flowery is not really my thing, but thanks to my lovely niece's album, I'm, I'm sort of branching out there. I'm trying more. So to have this big, beautiful cluster of flowers underneath my photo was um, actually pretty cool. You will see me mess around with it for a bit. Like I said, it's not my natural thing to do. So it takes me a little bit of fiddling. But these flowers came um, in the kit. It was an entire packet, so I did make use of them. I've actually done a few layouts using these, so you'll have to head over and have a look at that. And then, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to build up this cluster. Now, I do like to add some dimensions, so in the middle big piece I what I've done is I've started from the middle so I found a bigger bouquet type thing a bigger floral that I've puffed up on some uh, craft foam actually I think I might have actually used foam adhesive for this like actually foam tape and then I've used that to pop it up and then I'm working from the outside and I'm tucking in different flowers and florals and leaves and stems and things to build up my little cluster and I did want this cluster on the bottom of this photo so this photo is ends up being pretty square I've matted it on some white cardstock and plonked it right in the middle of my layout and then this beautiful little flowery cluster is going right in the middle honestly apart from that um then I'm going to add my title which is uh it came with the kit there are a bunch of um what are they they're foam 
the gold foam um, words. And one of them uh, said moments, and I thought that would be quite cute for this layout. So literally that's all I do for my title and that's actually pretty much all else I do for this photo, this layout. As you can see that floral is sort of building out and going up around the sides a bit. I'm really, really proud of how I did that. I was really quite happy um, that it worked so well and that I did it and yeah, that I was happy with it. So yeah, the obviously the main focus is this very pretty floral. As you can see it did take me a little while to put together because florals aren't usually my thing but I did have a lot of fun and I was really really happy with it when it was done it just suits the layout really nicely even though this is a picture of her and her dad it still works for this for this layout and for her album I think so now I'm just working on that title it's it's sort of like a scripty font some of them were um block uh lettering and some of them were scripty this one was very scripty and as I said it says moments and um it also came with some little foam um, gold hearts I've added those and honestly that's it for this layout it came together so quickly I think it took me maybe 15 16 minutes in total and uh, yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out so thanks for watching and I'll be back with a uh, with a new video bye for now